Hello and welcome back to Stacey Chantel Skincare Channel or welcome here if you are new. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen my latest post about throwing away your skincare after a year. After a year, the preservatives in your skincare products, they start to wear out and your products basically are no longer fresh and that can cause a whole array of um, like concerns and conditions in your skin. Uh, can cause an overgrowth of bacteria in your products and when you apply them onto your skin then an overgrowth of bacteria on your skin which leads to acne breakout and irritations and all sorts it just it creates a lot of bad things in your skin so I encourage everybody to take the weekend and purge out their um, skincare and their beauty bags uh, for any expired products so that is what I'm gonna do today with you because I'm gonna be like partially exposing myself as well. I've been hoarding some skincare. All right, well, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go get my products and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is what we're left with. Those are all my products. This bag is full, as well as this one. Oh, so let's go through them. Okay, so I really have no system to this. I'm just going to pick one product by one product. So first up is the Strawberry Rhubarb Mask. Love this one. This one is not a year old yet. This one I actually got in first quarantine. So that's fun. <laughs> okay, Almond and Mineral Treatment. I also got this one in first quarantine, I think. Love this one. Anyways, keeping this one too. Rose Hip Whip Moisturizer, keeping this one. This one's still pretty new since summer. This one's very new. I got this this previous winter in December, I think. Anyways, Facial Recovery Oil, my favorite. That's going in the keep. Oh, this one I'll sadly have to throw away. This is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I got this one in, I think, fall of 2019, and like, look how much I used. Barely anything at all. So it's really sad that I'll have to toss this away, but you know, I just, I didn't use this. It, I tried it out, it made my skin very sensitive and red, I mean the pH is 3.6. That's a very low pH. Our skin should be a pH of like 4.5 to 5.5. And so this is very acidic. Sadly, I never used it. I should have gave it away as soon as I knew that it wasn't for me. So that's too bad. Okay, that's going in the bye-bye pile. Mango Steam Cleanser, my favorite. Almost empty. There's like, ah, it's pretty much empty. But it's still fresh. Gonna keep it until it's empty. Calm Water Gel. This one, actually, let me pull up all of them. Yes, all of these guys. No, I have more skincare. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Here, I have more. Daily Microfoliant. One is still good, I think. Um, Ultra Calming Cleanser. This one, the Calm Water Gel. The Ultra Calming Mist. The Clear Start Blackhead Clearing Fizz Mask. The Clear Start Clearing Booster. <laughs> the Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. That's new. And the Hydro Mask Exfoliant. These are all new. I got these products from Dermalogica, I believe in the summertime. I think. Or maybe it was in fall of this last year. But anyways, these are still all very fresh, very brand new. I'm actually almost out of some of these. I really like them. So thank you, Dermalogica. Fun fact, I actually won Dermalogica Student of the Year when I graduated from aesthetic school. Anyways, they're all fresh. I'm keeping them. Sweet Red Rose Tonique. I don't think I've had this one for a year yet, but it's coming up. I'll, I'll keep it. 
We're getting there though. Herbal Eye Makeup Remover. This one is still fresh. Almost empty as well. Keeping. These are all my sunscreens. They're all fresh, I'm keeping them. <laughs> and yes, I will go through them within a year. Okay, let's go to the big bag. Ultra Repair Cream. This is First Aid Beauty. This was before I started working at the salon that I'm working at right now. And I was just looking around, trying new stuff. And so I tried this cream. It says it's for like, you know, intense hydration and for dry parched skin, but I didn't find that it was heavy enough. And like, I bought this in winter. So my skin would have been like pretty dry at that point, but I don't have a dry skin type. And even for my combo skin, I felt this was a little bit too light, but maybe if I used this with a facial oil, it would have been good. It's still a nice product, but I just found it too light. This has to go, actually. Marine Flower Peptide Eye Cream. Keeping this. Next is the Calm Skin Arnica Booster Serum. This I got in a kit, a Calm Skin kit from Eminence. Sadly, this is empty. So I like to keep the bottle anyways. Really nice dropper bottle. You don't know what you could repurpose this for. Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? This is hair cream. It's still fresh. Hand cream, that's still fresh. Okay, so these are the other products that were in the Calm Skin kit. Calm Skin Moisturizer, this is empty. I don't think I can repurpose this, so bye-bye. Calm Skin Cleanser, also empty, can't repurpose this. And this is the Calm Skin Arnica Mask. Still have a little bit left. I think it's still good. Mm, yummy. Yes. <laughs> Still a little bit left, probably like one use left. So I will keep this and I can repurpose the jar. Oh, again, empty jar. Bamboo age corrective mask. I don't know when I got this. This is probably old. Sorry. Strong crop gel wash. That's old. Also, it's empty. Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer. This is empty. Why am I keeping these? Another hand cream. Logica Clear Start Emergency Spot Fix. Basically, you just spot treat your breakouts with this. This is really old. Strawberry Rhubarb Dermfoliant. Got a little mini one of this. Stuff is really good, but this bottle's empty. I think I'll keep this bottle anyways, just because like, I don't know. It's really nice bottle you could repurpose that oh this is my favorite eye cream Dermalogica total eye care this is a SPF 15 I've never found an um, eye cream with SPF in it so it's super cool that Dermalogica has this love this eye cream but this is empty and I don't know why I kept this that's literally the Mennonite in me to like hold on to empty bottles just because it might find a purpose one day I might use it one day like for what? Okay, Citrus and Kale Potent C&E Serum. This is the best vitamin C serum that I've tried. Loved it, but it's empty. But again, I will keep this bottle. The Mennonite in me says, you might have use for this. Look, it's like a really nice glass amber bottle. Like a dropper and everything. Peter Thomas Roth. Peptide 21 Wrinkle Resistant Serum. It's like one of those Sephora samples that like you buy stuff at Sephora and you get points and you can use your points for like all sorts of little treats. And so this was that. That's going away. Oh, this stuff is cool. So there's a new brand, new to me, called Truth Treatments. My boss, Karen, she actually introduced me to it. And so she gave me these little samples to try out. And they're pretty cool. They're like, um, what are they? Far pharmacy grade skincare but it's like natural skincare and like i don't know i have to look more into it but basically they use like the energies of the earth and the resources of the earth to like heal our bodies and then yeah i really like <laughs> this stuff so this is still pretty fresh let me keep it and now we're gonna go through this little baggie here this is the bag that i got my first eminence products in this is actually like a really nice bag i think it's like a cute little clutch just to 
you know, use as like a day bag or something. I should actually use that. Like my wallet, phone. Anyways, I don't use these. So like, I don't understand why I need to hoard these. Claude L.E. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Radiance Serum. I thought this stuff was the coolest when I got it. I was not very skincare educated when I got this. So you know this is old. And it's actually really close that I have that. The Rolly Age Corrective Eye Serum. This is super old. Stone Crop Whip Moisturizer. Also empty. The Stone Crop Gel Wash that I said before. The Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer. Wait, did that come in here? I think so. And the Bamboo Age Corrective Mask. Yes. These were all in that must have minis kit. And I have all the bottles still. They're empty. Well, except the bamboo. I didn't really use that. But like they're all empty. Why why am I holding on to this? Throw it away. It's so gross. Whatever. That's going gone. Oh yeah, some old Dermalogica. They're going away. All these image skincare little samples. This also came in a kit. These are old, but they're going away. Bye-bye. That is all my skincare. So it was good to purge it all. Um, it's really gross that I kept so much of them. I have all this skincare, but it's not like I use all of it. And so it really, I guess, puts into perspective right now and makes me think more consciously of the products that I do purchase. Um, not just skincare, but I guess in anything that I am purchasing, purchase with a purpose that if I'm not going to be using it, then I should not be purchasing it. And in that way also, um, we reduce the waste that we um, accumulate and just throw away. Like it's so sad to me to look at all this stuff here that I'm going to be throwing away. And this is just my skincare. Just so sad that, you know, having to throw away all this stuff and we live in a world right now where you can just throw away something and it's like out of sight, out of mind. But that doesn't mean that the product disappears. And so, you know, I just, I want to prompt myself and I want to prompt you to, to just be more aware of what you are buying and that you are buying what you need. And when you buy something, use it. You don't need to be like hoarding a bunch of stuff just to have it. Um, it's that, yeah, consumers and mindset that I need more, I need more, but we don't actually need more. We need our basics, but anything more than that is not necessary. And so, again, just use what you need. I will be more conscious about that moving forward too. And I will be using up what I have and uh, very mindfully thinking about which products I will repurchase going forward. So let me show you what I have left. This is all... The garbage pile. This is the keep pile. It was definitely good for me to go through all of that. I encourage you to go through your beauty bag at home also and look for all your expired products and again after a year or so throw them away because they are no longer good. They're no longer fresh and will just cause damage on your skin. Okay so hopefully that was entertaining for you and yeah that it prompted you also to clean out your beauty bags and shop more consciously for your skincare thank you so much for watching and i'm wishing you all joy and peace bye